Now just imagine an application, an all-in-one application, which gave you access to hundreds and hundreds of live TV channels with a fully working EPG, the electronic program guide, but the application also contained movies and TV shows that you can enjoy across all of your devices absolutely free. Now this application doesn't require any kind of logins, no registrations, no usernames, no passwords, and for most of you, you don't need to use any kind of VPN. So all of this great content across all of your devices, absolutely free, and I'm really looking forward to sharing it with you. So please do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, Let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Now the application in question is the actual Roku channel. Now, previously this application or this service was only available to Roku devices, but they now have an official application for your Amazon devices which I've now extracted and I'm able to share it with you guys. So, and I will be showing you the step-by-step -step instructions on how you can get this on your Amazon device and also your Android TVs. Okay, let's open that up. Now I'm doing all of the navigation with the standard Amazon Fire TV remote control. This application doesn't need any kind of mouse toggle and we can see that we are straight into the content. I've not created any kind of login or registration and now we can see all of the things available absolutely free. Now, the other great thing is, as you can see here, is it does support continue watching. So if you do start an episode or a show or a movie and then exit the application, the next time you go back into it, you will see exactly what you're watching and you can then continue enjoying that content. As you can see, lots of different things, lots of great shows, lots of movies. Then you've got some original content. So this is very similar to your Netflix originals, but obviously done from the Roku channel. Here you've got the trending section. And let's say you want to watch this uh, Soul Surfer, click on that, click on play. And in a couple of seconds, we are straight into that content without any kind of pausing, no buffering. And we really can go ahead and enjoy all of this content absolutely free. And that really is a glorious HD picture. Let's back out of that. And if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment hashtag Roku, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. Thank you. We have recently added TV, sitcoms, reality, dramas, fantasy, just so much content across so many different genres that you can enjoy absolutely free. Now, one of the things that have changed recently is the live TV section because we can see here, if we go back to the top, not only did they show you some of the channels here, they've actually got an entire channel guide. So I can click on this which then starts the EPG. So you can now see all of the channels and we can see exactly what's on now, what's coming on next. And we can go ahead and enjoy all of this content. So let's say I want to watch this outside TV. So it should be Save the Shark, let's click on that. And instantly we are straight into the content and that is actually a great full HD picture. And that's a big shark. Now the other thing you can do to give it a more cable TV like experience is if you're inside a channel, Let's go back to the shark one. We can see now as I press down on the remote, that automatically changes to the next channel. So that also is another way you can navigate through this application, through those channels, by just pressing the up and down on the remote. So if I press up now, that should go back to the previous channel and we're back on save this shark. And that's working absolutely fine. Okay, let me now show you how you can get this on all of your Amazon devices but then also how we can access it on Android TV devices. So to start the process, just head over to your settings, go over to My Fire TV, go to Developer Options, and here we have Install Unknown Apps, and make sure Downloader is set to On. And this basically means that you can install applications through this application. Once you've confirmed that, you can now press the Home key. Let's now open up Downloader, and we can now make a connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, or you can type in the short code 534, zero two and click on go. Now, when you get to my website, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is one of the three lines, let's click on that and click on tutorials. And the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can get the Roku channel on all of your devices. So let's open that up. Here we are. So this is the update for October, 2021. 
Let's scroll down. Here's some information about the application. Now the key thing I've changed since my last video is I've now actually added in a dedicated application which you can use on not only your Android phones, your Android tablets, but even on your Android TVs. The only slight caveat with Android TVs is you do have to use a virtual mouse. Let's scroll down. We have the Roku channel for all of your Amazon devices. We have the Roku channel for your touchscreen devices. And this is also the version if you want to run this on your Android TVs. And I will just show you in just a second this running on my Nvidia Shield. Now, if you do want to use the Roku channel for touchscreen devices, you also need to download set orientation. So depending on your device, either get just the Amazon one, or in my example, because I'm going to show you on my Nvidia Shield, I'm going to download this one here and also set orientation. Click on that and then click on the green download button. Now, if you'd rather just access this content just through a browser, you can also use the third link here, which is Roku channel for all other devices. And this message in red, guys, just uh, bear that in mind that if you're not in the USA, then just follow the steps here. Okay, let's now jump over to my NVIDIA Shield and let me now show you this application working on that device. So here we are on my NVIDIA Shield. I've installed the Roku channel application and also set orientation. Now to open those applications, I'm using a free application called the Sideload Launcher. And this is available directly on the Play Store and it allows you to see or access your third-party applications. So let's open that up. So here we can see all the applications on my device. If I scroll down, here we have the Roku channel and next to that we have set orientation. Now, now set orientation is used for applications which are normally designed for cell phones in a horizontal manner. But if you use the application, it will automatically format those applications into landscape so they'll format correctly on your Android TV. So let's open that up. Now by default, this is set to disable, which means it's not going to adjust any of those applications. But if I click on that and you want to set that to landscape, let's click on OK. And let's now start the Roku channel. Now, as I mentioned before, this application is designed for a, a tablet or a touchscreen device. So it does mean on your Android TVs, you do have to use a virtual mouse. So let me bring that up by double pressing the play button. As you can see here, there's my virtual mouse. I can now click on live TV, for example. Now to scroll down with the virtual mouse on this remote control, you have to press the select button and then press down. So it is a little bit fiddly, but as you can see guys, you definitely can scroll up and down. And let's say for example, want to watch this uh, Unsolved Mysteries, click on that. Just to show you that the application does properly work on your Android TV devices, click on play. I don't need to sign in, so I'm gonna click on continue as guest. And as you can see guys, with no waiting, no pop-ups, no adverts, we are straight into that content and that's working absolutely fine. Let's back out of that. And that's all for this video guys. Many thanks for watching. I know lots of you are waiting for an application that we can use on Android TVs. I know I covered the Fire Stick one before, but we now have a complete solution for Fire Sticks and Android TVs where you really can go ahead and enjoy all of this free content. So please do subscribe, hit the notification bell with all notifications, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.